Hello and welcome back to our home office. Here we are again and we're going to have a very sort of quick little update video today. As it were, there is my favourite word, as it were. Somebody just wrote a comment that says, what is as it were in German? And the answer to that is so zu sagen. So, as it were, here we are back in the uh, home office and I have a few points for you today. Uh, number one, last in the last video we had a little competition for a, a CD and the CD was won almost immediately by a guy in the southwest of England who calls himself English Fugue Fan. He recognised the harmonies as being those of the legendary Neil Sedaka. Now, for those of you who don't remember who Neil Sedaka was, just look him up on the internet. He goes all the way back to the 1950s, where he was in the sort of rock and roll and doobie doobie craze. And he is still incredibly active today. He has his own private YouTube channel where Today, where even now, he's posting daily videos from his home in either New York or LA, LA at the moment, I think, where he's, uh, he sits at the piano, sings his own songs, and wishes everybody a happy life. He's, he's the happiest, funniest, coolest music guy I know still alive these days. Um, wonderful musician, wonderful music, wonderful compositions, uh, fun, happy guy, and uh, please check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to link it down there for you because it's just, it's, it's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. He's 81, he's one of the most successful and richest uh, musicians still alive today, and um, he needs more support, I think. He needs online support because it's the cutest thing. Anyway, enough of that. So thank you, Neil Sedaka, for your inspirations, for your harmonies, and congratulations to English Fugue Fan for the CD, which has been sent. It should actually be there by now. Let me know. So that was number one. Number two, we are working on... Uh, na, 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 na. We are working on pipesandposts.com. That's our online organ community. In the last couple of days, I have posted... Um, a couple of online, what do you call them, notifications and even stories saying, yeah, folks, check out pipesandposts.com. It's like Facebook for the organ world. This is something I set up last year. Join. It's free. It's for organ people, organ freaks, organ players, organ <laughs> people who just love organs and organ music. So join up, pipesandposts.com. It's in there, I think. Um, there's a three-stage process when you join up. So uh, you fill in the registration form with your email address and a password and all that sort of stuff. Uh, then you will receive pretty much immediately a verification email from the system. Now that tends to land in people's spam folders. So have a dig in your spam folder, make sure you get it. Reply to that, confirm your email address. That comes back to me, the administrator at Pipes and Post, and I will then uh, free up the account for you as it were. Okay, so get into Pipes and Post. Post, you can post photos, you can post videos, you can chat to other users, you can join groups, you can form groups, you can do whatever you want. It's Facebook basically. Yeah? Be nice, be polite, otherwise we'll throw you out. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice platform for organ people. So there you are. That's Pipes and Post. So join up, it's free. Now, uh, while we're on the subject of web, there's also something I've been <laughs> introducing in, uh, in, in a YouTube story and also in the community, and it's connected with my latest CD, Piping Hot at the Organ. It would appear that the corona thing is finally calming down and people can get back to a sort of normal life, which is really rather exciting. So, And because it's such a lovely hot summer, or it's going to be a lovely hot summer, I have introduced a coupon code for some uh, for a bit of a discount if you want to buy one of the CDs from the web shop. The coupon code is this, which you then fill in when you put that in your, what do you call it, in your shopping cart. So buy a CD, get a fünf, a, fünf, a five euro uh, discount uh, to that. Still send it anywhere around the world, no problem at all, but you will get an immediate discount. So uh, join that. It's, we're limiting it to the next hundred orders, so get in quick before they go. So please, if you want a copy of the CD, do it now while you get a five euro discount. Right, so that was the CD. Now, so we've had pipes and posts, we've had the CD, we talked about the corona thing. Ah, while we're on the subject of corona thing, yes, we will be able to get back out and about soon to visit new organs. We've been in touch with quite a few interesting people and interesting organs. And uh, yeah, we have some rather exciting things coming up, including looks like, including a real cinema organ, a real theatre organ. So that's going to be kind of cool. So that's coming up soon. Now, da -da 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 -da. let's move on to a little piece of music.
Now, a lot of people have been uh, sort of requesting some older stuff that I've already posted and uh, I'm going to sort of grant that request today and I'm also going to link it into the next and final point. And this is also something to do with the CD. Last year when we did the CD project, we did it with a crowdfunding campaign where people could pre-order a copy of the CD or a signed copy or a copy of the CD with some music, with a book of music from the CD. Now, Post around the world was playing havoc with that and a few people didn't get those or they got those late or they still haven't got it and all the rest of that. By the way, if you're one of the people who still hasn't received anything, please let me know via Start Next. That was the crowdfunding campaign. Please let me know via Start Next and we will sort that out for you. In the last week, I've been sending out copies of the music again. Which, uh, which didn't go out in the first place for some bizarre reason or didn't get to the recipients. It turned out some addresses were wrong and I, I don't know what it was. But anyway, we've managed to sort all that out. So everything's gone back out again. So if you still haven't received anything, please let me know. <sighs> I'm a bit out of breath. We're trying to get everything in here quickly. Now, on the subject of the written music, it was... Uh, you could get sort of transcriptions of all the music from the CD. Some of them were my compositions. And in the near future, you too will be able to buy a copy of those transcriptions. Some of the other pieces were by official composers. There was a bit of George Gershwin on there, some Irving Berlin. So I'm having to sort of speak to their publishers, their original publishers, to see if I'm allowed to sell my copies of those uh, arrangements that I did for the CD. In that case, you'll be able, you will also be able to buy the entire book of uh, music. But at the moment, it's looking like we will get some individual pieces set up now. I've been working with an with a official printer to make it look good. I don't want to do it on my home printer. That looks stupid and it would take forever and cost a fortune. So, uh, yeah, so professionally uh, bound and printed books will be available of the music involved. Oh, I think we finally got there. Time for a little piece of music. And this is going back to uh, the end of last year when we were when we were doing our recording and we were in the wonderful church in Gattenbach where they have this amazing four manual English and French hybrid organ. And one of the pieces I recorded uh, was an improvisation around a modern German hymn tune with some rather funky harmonies and I simply called it Prelude in D. And for those of you who requested it, here is another rendition of the Prelude in D played at the end of last year in Gattenbach. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.